Hold up. All right, we're going to get right on into music news here. So, Mr. Chris Brown is being sued for $2 million for a bad Popeye's restaurant investment. This is around the same time or directly after he was bragging about owning his own masters and having so much money that his children's children's children will be able to eat. Well, I guess that $2 million that Popeye's went back for their investment going wrong will be no problem <laughs> since your children's 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 children will have no problem eating because you've owned your masters at a very young age. So if that's the case, congratulations for that. And sorry about the bad deal at Popeye's. I want to say rest in peace to 702 former member Irish Greenstead quite disturbed that the media really didn't say too much about this. For people who don't know 702, they have the song Silo. They also have the song Get It Together. They, I believe they did the all that um, soundtrack for Nickelodeon for that TV show, All That. I believe that, that was, was them. them. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that, that song's hits. I, I think that that was them. Don't quote me, but I think that was I know them. the brats in that song. I know that. They also were on Missy Elliott's Beat Me 911. They were a featured um, artist along with Magoo, who passed away as well. So rest in peace to Irish. Um, if the mainstream media didn't do it, that's one thing. But we're all of the hip hop and R&B people. I think 112 spoke out, but yeah, we, we need to, you know, put some more love out there for 702. Happy birthday to Mr. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. He's 74 years old today. And New Jersey is calling it Bruce Springsteen Day. However, it took 74 years for y'all to be able to do this or however long he's been in the music business. He's done so much for New Jersey and done so many charities and perform for hours and hours and hours on end. And you wait until his 74th birthday to give it to him, but better late than never, but come on, New Jersey. He, he's done a lot for, for the state. New music. We have Doja Cat, Zach Bryan, Shakira, Kylie Minogue, Blink-182, R.E.M., Imagine Dragons, and Nickelback all release some music around the same time. So y'all go ahead and check out all of that good music. This is very interesting. And for the hip hoppers out there, the real question is, do we really care? Keith Richards claims that he doesn't like hip hop. He doesn't like rap music because he doesn't like people yelling at him. So when I thought about it, I'm like, hmm, maybe he just saw some live performances. And we all know that sometimes the rappers, a whole bunch of them get up on stage and sometimes it can sound like people are yelling at you. <laughs> maybe that's just his bad experience. But have you ever like listened to a rap hip hop song without seeing a live performance? If you saw the live performance and that's how you feel, I get it. But the real question is, does anybody really care? Keith Richards doesn't like hip hop rap music because he doesn't like people yelling at him. And ladies and gentlemen, that's music news. Okay. I have this. Okay. Keith Richards is, oh my God. I haven't heard that name in a long ass time. Holy shit. Well, first off, in outro. <laughs> my take on that i i've never seen live performances of rappers not I, actually never in my life maybe some puerto rican rappers here but that's just different they come to basketball courts and give that shit for free so it's not really any different but um i mean i must say sometimes it gets a little too much like you know you got one rapper that released an album 
one rapper performed and was in a studio, but you know, they need hype men and they need people to, you know, liven it up a little bit when they do their performances live. So sometimes you'll get a crowd of people on a stage. Do, did you remember the nineties that if there was always a rap concert and then I E there, not, not sorry, not I E and then in effect, there was always being a shooting always every mm-hmm. single fucking rap concert there was always a fucking shooting and it always yeah. happened like in the first hour of the show or like almost at the end i mean yeah that's all right before we get to the next topic and there is a story time to the uh, stories of Compito and a little surprise um i'm gonna give a shout out to jasmine chito k my girlfriend's cardala i hope you're watching this stop being lazy eat something, drink something, live life. Shout out to everyone that I know, everyone that rocks with me, the people that jumped from Alex Coquito to here, 